Well, thanks very much, Sean. I'm standing here with Daryl Bricker, the CEO of Ipsos. Now, Ipsos has been the polling agency of record for Global News throughout this campaign. Uh, Daryl, you have, besides doing the, the horse race polls for us and attitudinal polls, uh, you've also done an election day survey today, an election day poll. Uh, first of all, how many people are we, have you talked to today? So far, about 10,000, but we expect it'll be around 15,000 by the end of the night. And what you're trying to do is get an idea of why people voted the way they did, what right. motivated them, and what they're thinking. So, because the polls are still open in parts of the country. We won't go to any horse race polls uh, or surveys at the moment, but there's a couple of interesting things because if your numbers are, are correct, and I'm sure they are, Daryl, so uh, <laughs> uh, the question then becomes for Stephen Harper, what does he do? You asked about that. What have you found out? Well, we asked people uh, whether or not Stephen Harper should stay on if he doesn't get the most seats in this election. This election is about change, and you can see that reflected here. 71% say that he should resign. Although I should say 64% of the people who are voting conservative today actually think that he should hang around. 64%. So that's interesting. So that means there's not going to be the type of pressure that you might expect within the party for Stephen Harper to go? N not from the people who are supporting him today, no. Okay. Uh, you asked the same question about the other leaders. Take me through those. Well, Justin Trudeau, he gets a chance to ride again regardless of what happens. Uh, three quarters of the population think he should stay on as party leader, and it's almost universal among people who are voting Liberal today. And he probably won't even have to face that choice by the end of the uh, evening. I don't think case. so, no. Okay. And finally, a serious question for Tom Mulcair at the end of this evening. Yeah, well. Tom Mulcair is a little more divided, less so than uh, than uh, Stephen Harper is. It's more of a 60-40 proposition, but 60% would actually like to see him again. Actually, 86% of people who voted NDP today. Yeah, and that's interesting because the NDP are much kinder and gentler to their leaders if they run and lose and don't take them into government than any other party. Well, and, and that is the thing with the NDP. In fact, today, if the numbers hold up, it'll probably be the second best performance in NDP history. Okay, good point. Daryl Brooker, thanks very much. Donna.